Hey guys, Mr. Everything here, back with another Blu-ray unboxing video. And in today's video, we're going to be unboxing Spider-Man Homecoming. Alright, so just went up to Target and got this. And surprisingly, when I went up there, I don't know if this is the um, same for you guys, but it wasn't any 3D copies up there. It was just 4K, regular Blu-ray, and a Target exclusive little um, digi book that comes with like a comic book that they have there. So yeah, they didn't have any um 3Ds there. I was surprised about that. I was actually going to get the um 3D, but you know, this is cool. But uh um yeah, just talking about Spider-Man Homecoming, I guess just, you know, give my little re you know, review portion. I did do a review on my channel, you guys, so be sure to, you know, check that out. And you know, don't give me too much of a harsh time. It was one of my first movie reviews, right? No, I think it is my first I think it was my first movie review on this channel. So I put a card on the screen so you guys can check that out and you know, my voice is just really cringy. You could tell it was my first time doing a movie review too. Just my intro. Just every just the way I was talking, I wasn't as comfortable or as used to doing it. But now I'm used to doing all my videos now. But I actually think the editing in that video is really cool. If you guys don't watch any of my other videos, if you guys are new here, you know, be sure to like and subscribe, obviously. But check out some of my trailer review videos, my movie review videos, movie news videos. I like to add little clips and scenes from movies and stuff like that. And I did that with my Spider-Man Homecoming review. And I think the editing in that video is actually quite good. But the audio and, like I said, the way I'm talking, it's just kind of cringy sometimes. But yeah, Spider-Man Homecoming. And this obviously came out today on Blu-ray. I was super excited to get it. And I guess just starting with the unboxing. And, you know, talking about, you know, Spider-Man. So you do you have down here, you know, Sean Edwards gives it five stars. Best Spider-Man movie ever. And you have a Rotten Tomatoes sticker here that says 60 minutes of extras, deleted scenes, and more. And you got the front cover here with Spider-Man and Iron Man. And I hear a lot of people complaining about this front cover. You know, a lot of people in the, you know, the Blu-ray and movie, you know, fan community. And I, I understand it because it is, not only is it misleading, but it is getting kind of annoying. Main reason I don't like it, that, you know, I don't hate it. Like, this is a nice slip cover. It's, you know, there's nothing terrible about it, but it's nothing special about it. The reason I don't like it is... It is the exact same poster. If you guys remember the Spider-Man, just go search it on Google. Search Spider-Man Homecoming poster. The posters that will probably pop up, it'll probably pop up that really cluttered poster. If you guys remember that poster, where they literally threw every single character that you can imagine on that poster. I remember they released this exact same poster with Spider-Man. You got the Avengers Tower in the back and then Iron Man on the front. And the fact that they put this on a slipcover, they basically just recycled and put it, put the poster on the slipcover. That's what annoys me. But as far as Iron Man, I understand it. He's in the MCU now, which is great, by the way. I would have never thought I would imagine holding, you know, Spider-Man finally in the MCU. So I understand that. Plus, when they were marketing the movie, like I said, they dropped a bunch of posters just like this one. You know, specifically this exact same one with Iron Man on the cover and you know I understand that Iron Man he's a profitable you know a profitable character he's super valuable obviously Robert Downey Jr. is a great actor playing him and you know you just had to throw him on the posters to get people to see oh this is the MCU this is an MCU now getting on to the unboxing here is going to get kind of strange this is where I'm confused I don't know if this is a printing error or I think they did this because he's upside down but if you look inside everything is front ways up like it's the right way up, but the slipcover is backwards, so I'm not exactly sure, so I gotta flip the slip over for you guys to read the bonus features, and here's the synopsis, just in case you guys don't know what it's about, I'm assuming you guys know what it's about, but here are the special features, so I'll read that off to you guys right now. So you have binge over 60 minutes of extras featuring filmmakers and cast. And you have 10 deleted scenes, deleted and extended scenes, cast gag reel, Spidey study guide, a, you know, a pop-up factoid track, unseen alternate Captain America PSAs. And I remember that, uh, I want to say like a few days after Captain America, or Captain America, a few days after Spider-Man Homecoming came out, the director even said that there will be extra unseen of those, you know, Captain America PSAs. So I can't wait to watch some of those. I already watched the gag reel, so that's not going to be anything new, which is online, by the way. I'll probably put the link in the description for you guys, or you guys could just search it up, Spider-Man Homecoming gag reel. But then you have um, Aftermath, Filmmakers Bridge the Gap from the Battle of New York. You have A Tangle Web, Spider-Man inter 
integrate integration <laughs> can even say can even say that right there. Spider Man's integration into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and you have and more. So, <laughs> super sorry about that, guys. I was jittering over my words. I usually always do that when I read off the special features, as usual. But yeah, there you go. You got the slip and the back. And like I said, the back, um, you know, I'm kind of confused. I don't know what went wrong there. I don't know if they did that on purpose or, you know, probably on accident. I don't know. Yeah, pretty much the same. But yeah, like I said, just talking about Spider-Man Homecoming. Really liked it. I think this is the, this is the best Spider-Man movie. Spider-Man movie, but I still think, you know, the, like, as far as movies, like, story-wise, I feel like Spider-Man 2, and, you know, probably even the original Spider-Man has a better, you know, story, just better movies overall, but this is by far the best Spider-Man movie, just, just Spider-Man the character, the way Tom Holland, you know, plays him is so great, the, like I said, the fact that he's in the MCU is great, you know, just all the high school scenes, all the coming of age scenes, just, I related to it so much, you know, especially being like, you know, just the age I am now, and just like relating to it, somebody that's older might not relate to it, but you know, just the, just the, the high school coming of age, like, you watch some of the older John Hughes movies, and yeah, those are cool and they're relatable, but not as much as this, because this is so real, when you know, listic to this time period, I mean, I mean, you already have with the tech and the gadgets, you know, obviously the smartphones. Like, you don't have a lot of that in the old movies. So, us kids nowadays, which I'm not a kid, but, you know, us teenagers and young adults can relate to this as far as the technology and just the diversity in the school period. I mean, you have, you know, just every, almost every character is a different race. I mean, you have his friend Ned, um, who's a different race. Zendaya, she plays a character. Don't want to spoil it just in case you guys don't want to know. But she plays a character. But obviously, you know, she's in just lots of different races. Obviously, The Flash is played by, you know, a, a different um, actor now, too. I, I cannot remember his name at, right now. But it's just, it's just super diverse cast. Liz Allen is, you know, just a different race. Just all these great diverse, you know, just diverse races. It's just great. So relatable to this time because that's how classrooms look nowadays. They're diverse and they're different. They're not... You know, just all, you know, playing just the same color. So, that's great to see that. And obviously, like I said, with the tech and the gadgets, smartphones, you know, just all of that type of stuff. Just so relatable to this time. But here you have the digital. I got it covered up. You know, same stuff. You know, just type it in, you know, at the, you know, on the Sony website or whatever. And you have a little cool flyer here. So, I guess I'll show you guys that. Download the official app. It says features include access to Peter Parker's phone, argumentary reality, suit explorer, filters, stickers, and gifts, and more exclusive content. So that's pretty cool. You got the flyers for the other, you know, Spider Man movies, obviously. Get rewarded. Yeah, so just a nice little cool flyer. Got that right there. And then. You have, obviously, I'm trying to figure, which one is, oh, this is the DVD, so the silver shiny one is the DVD, and then this one is the Blu-ray, so it's like a blackish color, so, you know, not really discard, but I guess it's like cool, you know, just, you know, the Spider-Man logo, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, like I said, you know, very good movie. Really enjoyed it. You know, totally recommend this movie. And like I said earlier, be sure to check out my, you know, review for Spider-Man Homecoming um, that I did, you know, way back when it came out in July. And, um, yeah, I totally recommend this. Glad to see Spidey in the MCU. Um, and I hope you guys um, enjoyed this Blu-ray unboxing. Be sure to check out all my other Blu-ray unboxing videos. All my other, you know, trailer reviews, like I said earlier, my movie news videos. Just check out all my videos. And like I said, if you're new here, be sure to like and subscribe. I make videos like this all the time. Blu-ray unboxing videos, you know, trailer reviews, you know, all that stuff I said earlier. And thank you guys for watching and have a great rest of your day. All right, bye guys.